Welcome to episode 53 of Journey to 30. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Enjoy. Everybody, today we are visiting the Great Wall of China, and then after that, I'll be going home. As you guys can see, we made it about to uh, start this journey up the Great Wall of China. After all, it's the Great Wall. Great wall trip up to the top. Times? Excited to check it out. Thank I've been you. waiting for this moment since. <laughs> Alright, we're starting. On the way up. The China's Great Wall, let's go. We saw the stairs and then we saw the cable car and we decided, you know what? Let's save our energy for the top of the wall. Explore as much as we can on top, not getting to the top. We're gonna be riding that on the way down. You baby, look at this view. Fortunate to be able to see views like this one day. I'll come back here. Keep going. We can't go no more. And then we gonna rest and go some more. We reached this point right here. We can't go any further. So it's time to head back. We made it. Look how steep these stairs are. But look how amazing the view is. We made it. After all, it's the Great Wall, and we gonna be great. Working hard, being happy, inspiring others and everybody around us. So fortunate to be here, so grateful to have this opportunity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm so excited and so ready to get back to Atlanta, get back to work. But always remember, when you go down, there's gonna be ups and downs in life. You gotta make your way back up. So let's go. So fun! So we had to stop on the side of the road right now. Back to the bus is smoking. They told us not to get off just yet. This is perfect, perfect. The bus is smoking. What's happening? What's going on? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing? Oh yeah, that's nothing at all. What's up everybody? We finished at the Great Wall. We're gonna be shopping. This market is supposed to be the traditional market in Beijing, one of them. This ice cream looks like a flower. I found one of the most rare. They have Wi-Fi here. Good morning, everybody. It is another day, our last day here in China. Let's check out the Forbidden City. Should be interesting. See you guys. Most famous duck in China. Over 2,000 years, all the emperors have been living around this compound called the Forbidden City. And the reason it's called the Forbidden City is because in the past, the public was never able to come to this area. This the National Museum of China. This whole area right here is called Tianmen Square. 
their military exercises or trainings or whatever oh, that are like a show, they do them here. I was given this umbrella. Wow. Right now we're going into the second little gate area. And let me tell you, this place is huge. So out of the whole city, that is the biggest temple in the Forbidden City. I'm so glad to meet you, Jordan. Have a good, have a beauty in the future. Bye bye. Good morning, everybody. The time has come. It is our last day here. Ready to go. I honestly enjoyed my time here. Let's get it started. I made it to the taxi, saying my farewells to China. From here to Seattle, Seattle to Atlanta. It'll be about 18, 19 hour trip. See you guys in the United States of America. Once again, China was amazing. If you guys ever have an opportunity to go visit China, I would do it. See you guys soon. Woo! We arrived in Seattle, baby. All right, we made it. After that long flight, it's the morning time here in the States. About to get back home and work. It's another day, y'all. Go find your fortune. Just made it on the plane, got some work done while on the flight. Back to Atlanta. We made it, we made it, we made it. What a long trip. Let's get home now. Rock. We back, we back, we back to Atlanta. About to probably get a 30 minutes to an hour of organization and work done. We'll see you guys tomorrow. 2 a.m. I got back from the airport tonight. Look at my clean desk now. I came and this was a pile of mail. So now tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm ready to just kill it. Focusing on the strategy for the next couple of weeks. And guess what's going up on the wall tomorrow as well? My certificate for successful completion of study tour program in economy, society, and culture in young leaders to China innovation and entrepreneurship by Confucius Institute and Hanban headquarters in China. I'm excited to be back. Thank you guys for watching episode 53. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe on this video and comment. What do you think? Whoever comments within the first hour of me uploading will have the opportunity to FaceTime with me. So make sure you comment below and let me know what you guys think of this video and this journey. See ya.